Hello everyone, welcome to our Divine Mercy Chaplet for today. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of playing around with my light in this stand, making things look a little more professional, a little bit more nice. Let's see, get everybody shared. And uh, so I have my picture of Divine Mercy behind me. Got my cup of water, bottle of water. And I even have my coffee kind of hidden over here. So I'm all ready for our divine mercy. And today, I think I can breathe easy enough for us to do a rosary as well. Um, tomorrow at 2 p.m., I'll be flying to Colorado, first to Denver, and then from Denver to Alamosa. And uh, so I'm guessing that we'll be doing our Divine Mercy when I get to, to Denver. I still haven't figured that part out. I still have a few ends to tie up here, but it'll all work out. And uh, And I just finished cleaning my room. So the last thing I have to do is to uh, vacuum my floor but uh, everything's looking wonderful right now. A lot of things I've been meaning to do and am happy that they're, that they're getting done. So thank you everybody for joining me. I already see one of my beautiful sisters. I'm gonna talk just for a little bit more, give my mom and dad a minute or two to find us. And so, uh, what can I say? Uh, I'm this weekend. I'm in Belcourt. It's been a few weeks since I've been in Belcourt. Father Dave arrived back last night, and we both handled Dunseeth. So I've been in Dunseeth since he left. He had a wonderful trip to Belize. Of course, he's still a very new priest. I think he's been a priest now for seven or eight months, and he just had his first wedding, and it was to a couple in Belize uh, whom he knew. I think he also did a retreat there. And so we welcomed him back this morning. He actually got in last night. And because he was taking Dunseeth today, I got to do the announcements at all of our masses. I had the 10 a.m. mass and I did the announcements at the others. And I actually have one mass left to do announcements at, and that's our five o'clock mass today. So it won't be um, videotaped, but, but after six o'clock, I will be be done with everything except for our morning meetings tomorrow before I leave. So good things are, are happening. So um, thank you all for joining me. And as I mentioned last time, I got a new light and stand. So this is what it usually looks like. And uh, so the light makes it a little more professional. And I can even... Uh, Play with the intensity a little bit. So, fun times. So, let's go ahead and begin our Divine Mercy Chaplet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray this Divine Mercy Chaplet for our families, our loved ones, for their protection. We pray for, for strength through all of our trials and especially for God's divine mercy, which opens the gates of heaven for all of us. We pray for these things for ourselves, our loved ones, our families, our communities, our nation, and our world. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose from the dead, ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The First Decade Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Second Decade Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third decade. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Fourth Decade Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world.
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The Fifth Decade Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I guess maybe I shouldn't do that rosary. Um... The divine mercy has become kind of a testing ground for me to see how how tired I, I am because a lot of the times I'm going, 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 and then I stop and do these prayers, and that's when my tiredness catches up with me. And actually, in my family, uh, my aunts, uncles, my dad and me, maybe my sisters, we have this knack of being able to go to sleep very quickly in recliners. So it's just uh, lay down and we're out. And so uh, just based on that last decade of the Divine Mercy, I probably uh, need to rest. Um, but the good news is my vacation starts tomorrow. I'm getting someone to take me to the airport. So starting tomorrow through Saturday, I will be getting a lot of rest, a lot of recuperation. And, um, and that'll, I'm um, hopefully you'll see that in my daily prayers with everybody. Again, the Divine Mercy is the main devotion I want to do with everyone at 3 o'clock. And we'll see. Every day is a discernment on the rosary. But I want to do the rosary with all of you. And maybe I'll have to start taking naps around lunchtime that I'm, that I'm fully recuperated. Um, also, I think I read a message on here. Um, so Martha Clark, I will tell Father Fred that you've been trying to get in touch with him. He's my neighbor. He's in the next room over. And so um, I hope you can find him. Um, and 
everybody, God bless you. The next time I see you, we'll probably be in Colorado. Um, if there's no layover time or something, I will leave a message for you tomorrow. And thank you all for your prayers and messages. And I got my room clean. I've got, I'm already about done packing. I just have a few little things to do and my meetings tomorrow morning. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you all. God bless you all. Talk to you again soon. Love you all. I love you all.